Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Public Games and welcome to another Minecraft City Tour. We're actually in kind of like a part two or like a second uh, second tour of GTA 5's world here. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited about this one because this is actually his new one and check it out. I mean, the most crazy thing about this entire world before we even start is that it was just started in October of 2018. So it's not even that old, but you guys can see by the map here that he's already got a ton and a ton of stuff built. That we're going to be able to go ahead and check out today. Very exciting. Again, YouTube, New Freedom MC. You guys, be sure to go check it out. Again, link down below and definitely check it out because this guy is a crazy builder. And if you missed the last tour of the uh, of the old world of his, check that out as well. Link below for that. So definitely be sure to go check all that stuff out. Uh, and let's just begin here with the tour. We're going to be following you again just like we did last time. And he's going to be showing us some awesome builds. All right. So let's, uh, let's start checking out some of these awesome houses. Again, great build or great world for houses and whatnot. Oh, okay. So here we go. It looks like we actually have a layout for uh, for this whole area. Downtown. Uh, I don't know what these say. Maybe some. Okay. These are words in German, um, but that's all good. Palm Springs. Look, he's doing a little uh, area over there. This is awesome, though, how he lays this all out like this. Desert stadium. Is that a stadium? Maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> looks like he might be doing a little translation. Oh, a prison. Oh, that's going to be really cool. Nice. Okay. Um, well, this is awesome, guys. Check this all out here. The Mirror Park. Awesome. And uh, just a whole bunch of different areas of the city right now. Which one are we in right now? Which Could you show me on the map which, which one we're in? This one. Okay. All right. So we are in Palm Springs currently. And uh, awesome. Let's go ahead and, uh, and just start checking things out here. I'm very excited because uh, last episode we saw a whole bunch of stuff. These custom trees are awesome. They are so cool. I guess that explains the Palm Springs, obviously, with the palm trees and whatnot. And it's already looking like we got some crazy looking houses here to start off with. So let's just start off here. We've got a nice little bungalow here. And uh, and yeah, I mean, we're just going to try to move through these relatively quickly. You guys can obviously pause the video at any point and get some inspiration from each one of these builds. Because he's got a lot of great details here in his houses. And there's just a bunch of great looking builds here. Nice little cars and, and everything here in these suburban neighborhoods. And check it out, guys. I mean, these are just great little houses. Going to actually try to cover both sides of the street. This time, it looks like he's still using the spawners as fences, which is a great idea. I don't know how he does that without getting little pigs in them and uh, and all the animals and whatnot. But these look great. Do these have interiors also? Or, yeah, same as last time. Some nice little layouts inside. So they're, like, basically move-in ready. If, uh, if somebody was to come in here and buy the house, they are ready to move in right away. Um, again, we've got oh, just a whole bunch of great little bungalows here. I think we already saw that one. But these are great. And even the nice little fence designs here out back. Where uh, oh they got a trampoline no way they've got a trampoline that's awesome nice little place to go I guess send the kids back there to have some fun but that is such great detail and uh, I guess that's the one thing that I really love about his worlds at least uh, from seeing the last one is the amount of detail that he adds even the under the bridge thing last time was great nice little white little uh, bungalow over here and uh, and we're gonna continue I guess down over to here is there a bobcat on the street here yes there is looks like they're doing some sort of renovations. Or, yes, they're fixing a pipe. No way. I mean, this is what I'm talking about, guys. This is exactly a perfect example. The detail. Like, this is what makes the world. It's not all the bills and everything. I mean, the bills make it, of course. But when you add stuff like this, it's spectacular. I mean, it makes the world look so cool. That is a great feature right there. Props to you for doing that, dude. That is awesome. And then we got a nice little bungalow here as well. Continuing down the road. Again, I'm going to say bungalow a lot, but or house a lot or whatever. But just a bunch of little great houses here. Uh, you guys can see all the different depth tactics they uses here, the different roof lines. They look spectacular. But this one's got a little fancy car out front, indeed. And, uh, and we got a whole bunch of little other ones here as well. Just little fence designs. I mean, this really does feel like a community. Like, you don't just feel like you're in a world of blocks anymore. Or just another Minecraft city. Like, this really feels like a real community. I love the little grass medians here on each side with the sidewalk. And even the palm trees, guys. I mean, those are spectacular. Uh, again, some really nice little houses down here. Kind of like a... I don't know what to call that, but it's like a house that you would see out in like, I don't even know where you'd see that house. I just feel like I've, like I've seen that kind of design style before or whatnot. Very cool though, indeed. And, and again, a nice little bungalow over here outlining the stone brick with the quartz. A really cool tactic. If you guys want to make your roofs look better in any of your builds, just go ahead and outline it with a different block on your roof. And it just, it just makes the building pop. Really cool how he did that there and use that tactic. Uh, we've got a nice little bungalow over here. Now, I know last time, you know, I was pretty into the mansion, so I wanted to buy one or whatnot. I'm wondering what house I could maybe buy in this one, you know. I, I kind of got to pick a place to live if I was ever going to live here. And uh, that would be a that would be quite a good thing. But we've got a whole bunch more nice little houses here. Oh, I love this fence design as well. Oh, what's he writing now? 
Um, I wonder how much these ones are. Last time he had everything priced out, so I wonder what these ones cost. But uh, yeah, I mean, I just love this little fence design here. That's great. And uh, again, looks like we've got some really nice houses along the street. Nice little sports car over here, actually. Um, very cool, though. Again, moving down the street. This one's actually a slightly bigger house here as well. Nice little sandstone fences. All the fence designs in this are spectacular. Like, I love how every single one of them is different. The monster spawner idea is a great one. Like, that is a really cool idea. Again, don't know how to do that without having the pigs in it. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure you guys could look it up and figure it out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, really, really cool house designs here as well. Uh-oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Uh, I also, I lost my cursor for this one, so it's a little bit hard to point at things. But I'm sure you guys look at the point. Kind of makes the, uh, the video look better, at least uh, for you guys. If you guys want to pause it and look at stuff and whatnot. Uh, here's another nice little house here. Again, using that overhang tactic that we talked about last time to make that really cool depth uh, perspective on that house. I really like that. And uh, we've got another little brick one across here again with a nice little balcony. Like every house here in this world has something special about it. You guys know what I mean? Like every single one here, like this one's got this really cool little window design in here. And uh, and honestly, like a nice little balcony up there. Every single house is something special about it. The fence design on this one is great. I love how even it looks really cool because he's used this uh, the sidewalk, which is half a slab down into the ground, but then that kind of exposes the fence and allows for a really cool design to take place there. Very cool. Um, indeed. And I know, again, I say very cool a lot, but it's true. Like this stuff is all very cool. And I just don't have any better words to describe. I'll work on it guys. I'll work on it. We've got another really cool street over here. Um, yeah, check out, I mean, this house is great. The roof lines on these are spectacular. Again, we've got like the kind of Tudor style house over here. Very cool across the street. Another really nice design here. Man, I'm loving all these houses, and this one's really just like a classic kind of uh, kind of house as well here. Really cool. Another one there made with stained clay and the cobblestone. Again, I love how he just uses cobblestone so well. I don't know how he does it, but every time that I see the cobblestone that he's used, like all three occasions, including the last tour, um, I'm like, wow, I really like how the cobblestone looks there. I don't know what it is, but he just he uses cobblestone correctly. <laughs> this is great, though. Yeah, I'm really liking all these different cool houses here. And this one's got a bed in the car. I guess that's part of the design, but that is crazy. Really cool. Another thing to note, again, in this world is that all these roads use curvature on them, which is really crazy. It's so hard to lay out roads with curves in them in Minecraft, and just to see them all having curves here is just spectacular. I mean, because realistically, in, in most worlds, or in, like, real cities, you would never see all straight roads. Like, occasionally you do, but most of the time, even, like, this road, they have these slight curves going on. Look at this really cool modern house here with even like the little mailbox and the fence. Oh my gosh, this is great. And like a nice little modern garden down here. I absolutely love the look of this house. This is great. And uh, even just coming inside here. Oh my gosh, check this out. This might have to be the house side pick in the world. I mean, this is a pretty crazy looking build for sure. And it looks like it's three stories, is it? Or is this like a rooftop area? Yeah, this is a little rooftop area up here. No, it's not actually. It's actually three stories high. I guess this might be like the master bedroom or whatnot. Very cool though indeed. And, uh, and let's go ahead and head all the way back down. Oh my gosh, so guys, oh yeah, check this out actually. They do have a little bit of a rooftop patio up here and entrance from down there. That is really cool. Nice little pool design out here. And even having like the little steps down into the pool and having all the little patio furniture. Like again, guys, the detail makes everything. Oh, this is a very cool build here though as well. Check this one out guys with the little driveway down to the garage. And, uh, and again, we've got just a great looking building here. Uh, nice little sandstone design there. Modern house, of course, but the garage over here is very cool. And even the little gateway. Um, yeah, check it out, guys. Check out the little driveway up here. You can kind of park your car wherever you want. You can go into the garage. You can drive right up here to the front door. And I like how you use the little handles here with the uh, with the prismarine lights. I don't know what those are called. I think they're like the rods or whatever. Check out a nice little living room in here. Uh, I suppose that's what this would be. And the little water Oh my gosh, the little water wall here as you walk downstairs. This reminds me of a Grand Theft Auto house. Is this based off a Grand Theft Auto house? think so right yes yes because i feel like i've seen the one in hollywood that has a little water design on it oh the home theater again these fancy people with their home theaters oh my goodness i love that so much in the last uh tour we saw a home theater and it was very cool and this one is uh this one's also very awesome even though he's are these shulker boxes yeah they are and he uses the shulker boxes as wall designs that is great and uh is this a little bedroom down here i believe it is yes oh wow okay i like the little interiors that he's doing here what oh my gosh are these like mirrors didn't even know you could do that. Is that an actual banner design? Like, is that vanilla or is that a texture pack? Yeah, that's that's vanilla. That is so cool. I got to figure out how to make those because those look awesome. Uh oh, I don't think I can actually see it because my hand's not there. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, here we go, guys. He's actually handing me the banners here. These are so cool. 
oh, I got to make some of these in my world and actually use them. Those look awesome, dude. That is awesome. Um, okay, let's head back outside here. I mean, this is a great little room. I don't exactly know what it is. Maybe like a little plant room or something, but, uh, but very cool as well. And then what do we got in here? This is a bathroom, obviously. A little hidden shower back here. Oh my gosh, just the detail in this is awesome. Check it out, guys. We got an infinity pool up here. I love how he does the infinity pool. It looks so epic in this actual house layout. And uh, just this entire house is very impressive. So I'm really glad that we got to see that. That is a great looking house. So that whole modern area over there is spectacular. And uh, yeah, I mean, check out even the little bus uh, stop here with a little bus lane. Now he made the bench with the trap doors. Like it's that kind of detail that is awesome, dude. That is a spectacular little, uh, little detail there. And if we go down this street, it looks like we've got a couple more houses here. I don't know. Did we already see? Yeah, we already saw these. Okay, cool. So let's, uh, oh, I got to keep following. Um, here we go. <laughs> I know, still struggling a little bit with the PlayStation Fly. And it's working a little bit better today. Last time it was uh, giving me quite a bit of trouble. But uh, it looks like we've got another nice little brick house here. And, and if we're going to continue down. Have we been down this street yet? I Have we? I don't know. I'm sure you'll... Uh, You'll, you'll, you'll keep me on track here so I don't loop back and do the same thing twice. But it looks like, oh, we've got a nice little fancy house here. Oh, this one's for sale, guys. One million dollars. Oh, my gosh. One million dollars. Yes. <laughs> um, wow, this is, a, uh, this is a pretty nice house. So, I mean, it's a good size for a million dollars. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a pretty spectacular little house here. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the little fireplace there and nice open ceilings here. Very cool design inside. Oh, and then check it out, guys. Oh, I love this little, like... What do you call this? This isn't like a fence design, but it's like this nice little uh, archway thing going around the uh, the back part of the the pool here in the backyard area. I really like that. Again, I don't know what it's called, but that is really awesome little feature there that he's added. And even just leaves hanging over this little... Uh, oh, there's a word for these, and I don't know what it is, but it's, uh, it's looking really awesome. Okay, I actually got to chill out on using the word awesome and cool a lot, but here we go. We've got another little bungalow here. Um, yeah, this is uh, really great there we go really great i'll use that word from now on no that is really great though i love it. like just guys the little details with the walls here he goes from the uh the gray concrete to the uh to the courts and uh, i just love how he uses the uh the courts the pillars for uh for garages i'm gonna have to do that in the future as well a little recycling bins down there just all the little details in each one of these houses is spectacular it looks like we're actually moving downtown now is it snowy here is that what this is supposed to be representing it's like a whole little snowy set set up here that is uh that's awesome Oh my gosh, so we've got these nice little uh, roll buildings. It looks like we're actually kind of entering the downtown. Notice that he doesn't just go right from house to skyscraper here. He actually goes from like, you know, low density to medium density. And I'm sure it will go to high density as well later. But um, but that's a great little design feature there. And something that if you guys are planning out a city world in your world, don't just go and put a bungalow beside a skyscraper. Obviously, build it up like he is doing it here. And, and you guys are going to have a much nicer looking city and a much kind of more realistic settings so very cool as well check it out guys so these road buildings are spectacular again loving all the designs that he's using here and in, in these alibaba alibaba that is great <laughs> that is such a great little amount of detail there little online uh online uh store for those of you guys who don't know what that is it's like a little kind of ebay or amazon thing but it's like the chinese version <laughs> everything's super cheap it's hilarious so he yeah, has that little amount of detail there and uh, and what do we got here just 1873. I guess that's like the the uh, time that this building was built in, or at least the era that it's from. Very cool looking building there. Heading around onto the next street here. Oh my gosh, I love this, guys. Look at this. Come right down to the street level and just tell me how real this feels. Like it actually feels like you're in a real European town. This is what it's reminding me of, at least. And it's it's really cool. Um, I wonder if this actually is this based off of Germany or is this based off any thing specific yeah it is based off germany okay that's very cool he's got actually right down here um because this definitely feels like very european and uh and let's see Ger, is that the is that the name of the town in germany that it's based off of or <laughs> i don't know i don't know but these are uh, spectacular looking buildings here uh germany yes right right so this is actually based off of germany which is really cool um oh i guess jur is jur shirt for germany <laughs> I probably I didn't pick up on that, but there we go. Oh, this nice little garage down here, though, guys. All the little features of these buildings are crazy. Nice little car out back and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is just I love the detail on the street. It just feels like you're actually in a town. Like it doesn't even feel like Minecraft anymore. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm in a busy uh, German town. Maybe I don't want to go to Germany anymore. I know last episode I was like, hey, I should actually go and check out Germany. That'd be a super fun trip, I'm sure, and it still would. But look, I'm basically in Germany right now. I mean, these buildings are all spectacular. And oh my gosh, it's like a little Mini Cooper 
Oh my gosh, like a little smart car. This is great. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. But yeah, guys, again, every building having something that's super special to it and just having different designs here, which all look great. How he uses the uh, the bases as different blocks from the actual buildings themselves. Also a really cool feature. I'm sure each one of these have like little stores at the bottom of them and whatnot, just making the city feel totally alive. Oh, he's he's pointing at me. Yep, yep, where, where do we need to go? Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, no, no way again. You know, oh geez, dude, the detail. So these guys, I guess, are carrying out. Is this a piano? This is a piano, isn't it? Right? Yes? Yes, that's okay. So that's a piano. Yeah, and they're carrying out the piano and I guess putting it into one of these builds. Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh, it looks like he's actually going in here. Oh, they're loading it into here. No way. Is this a casino? Is that what this is supposed to be? This must be it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Bricks. Um, okay. And what's what's going on down here? I'm not much of a redstone guy, so I don't really know what's going on, but it looks like they've got some bricks here. Okay, I'm going to stand right here. Oh, am I trying to, are you trying to throw the bricks? Oh, he's throwing me bricks. Hold on. Here we go. We've got him here. And uh, kind of difficult because I don't have my hot bar on. Hold on. Let me turn it on. Uh, there we go. So I guess I got to stand on the yellow here and actually throw the bricks into the uh, into the hopper here. Or, or into the Yeah, there we go, guys. Check it out. Oh, and then I'm getting... Oh, I get $20 and these are all $2. So I guess for each shot that I get in, this is like a real casino here, guys. No way. Or is there like a small chance that I might get $20 out of it? Like this is, oh my gosh, this is great. This is so epic. Just having the whole currency thing in here is so awesome. I love this. I absolutely love this. This is great. <laughs> I have no other words. I'm just saying I love this. This is great over and over. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know that you get yellow text on those too. That's very cool. But uh, yeah, I guess we're in like a little casino here and they're just bringing the piano in. Oh my gosh, the detail though. We just played a casino game in the world. That is so cool. And uh, maybe it was like a dartboard, actually. Is that what that's supposed to be? Or kind of like a little, I don't know, a little shooting range or just a little practice thing. Very cool, though. And again, going down, you know, just scaling it down a little bit here with the with the four-story building to the two-story building to the one-story building, not going directly from, you know, a 17-story skyscraper to a little one-story building. So, again, just the way that he's planned out and laid out the city is uh, is great. Got a couple more really cool uh, car designs over here and whatnot. Couple more awesome little houses along the uh, along the bottom here, and then we're back down in this downtown area with snow all over the place. Again, you guys are gonna see how much this feels like a real city, and uh, it's kind of weird to have the palm trees in the snow, unless that's not supposed to represent snow, obviously. But that's kind of funny. And oh, another sort of scene's going on here. I don't, I don't. Okay, so he's got an Ender Dragon in his hand. This guy is uh, just standing there. I don't know what's going on here exactly. Oh, is this like a movie shoot? Is that what this is? Yes, kind of. Is this like, are they, oh, that's a camera, isn't it? Oh, it's a news scene. It's the news, I think, guys. It's actually like they're they're showing something here uh, on the news, I'm guessing. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, I love this building here with the red and the sandstone. That's a great looking, uh, looking build. And over here, we've got a couple more awesome looking builds. Oh, here we go. We've got another angle at it here. Okay, looks like, are these guys paramedics? Carrying out, carrying out a bed, I, I suppose, like some sort of, yeah, okay, they are. So I'm guessing this is like a news scene. Maybe some something bad has happened here. Oh yeah, this is a host, this is a uh, an ambulance, right? I think so. Yes. Okay. I, I'm guessing that's what's happened here. And there's some sort of are these pylons? And there's oh, hold on. Yes, police. So I'm guessing there was some sort of car accident here or something that uh, that occurred. And, and <laughs> that's great though. Loving the little details for sure. Uh, again, some nice little row buildings coming along here. The buses and everything. Oh my gosh, this is spectacular. This little Italian food restaurant down here? I know we saw one in Dark's World, and I guess it's another another one down here. Um, that is great. Oh, my gosh. I just love this. And, oh, boy. Look at guys. We're going over. they got some modern apartments over there. Oh, the diner over here. Kind of like the retro-style diner. This looks awesome. That is great. Check it out, guys. i got the entire interior done here with the booth tables and everything. A little bar over here. And I guess some things that you can order. But uh, I guess those are all in Euros. But uh, again, written in German, so I'm not going to even bother to try to guess what those are. But uh, I'm guessing it's just little diner foods and whatnot. Um, looks like we've got a, a little L Super. Maybe that's some sort of super store or a grocery store in uh, in Germany. Very cool, though. A little maybe supply shop or whatnot. And even the, like, the little roof designs here are great. And a little glass popping out of it. That is awesome. We also have some maps over here. We can actually see where we are. Yeah, look at this, guys. We're right downtown here. And uh, let's go check out these modern... Oh, I just dropped the map. I just dropped the map. That's not good. Where did the map go? 
Okay. Oh, there it is. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, guys, check out these modern, uh, I guess, condominiums or apartment buildings again over here. These are great, though, with the balconies that go all the way around. Loving the looks of these. And uh, just some really cool detail there for the downtown area. All right, so I'm guessing it's time to now head over into this area over here. Again, it's a nice little, uh, maybe a little store over here or somebody's house. Um, so yeah, let's head down into this neighborhood now. I guess we've got a little restaurant down here. I'm guessing that's like a little restaurant. And uh, yeah, maybe just a little place for the locals to go and eat or whatnot. I guess these are all, no, these are houses now at this point, right? But these are just nice little like row houses almost going all the way along here. This is really awesome. And then we've got this street here. Yeah, look at all these little row houses, guys. It's like a tight little feel here. Definitely very European. I'm liking how this looks so for sure. Check it out, guys. Check out all these little designs. Again, like last time, I'm just going to kind of fly by each one of these for the sake of time. And just, again, if you guys want to look at them in more detail, just go ahead and pause the video. You guys can get ideas and inspiration from each one of these builds. But again, just everything has a little special detail on it that, uh, that makes it so much more unique. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, these just look great. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm loving all these little details, streets and whatnot. Uh, what do we got over here? We have like maybe a little townhouse unit. Yeah, I'm guessing those are little townhouse units down there. So those are looking very cool indeed. And, uh, and some more little townhouse units along here, almost little row houses. Again, very cool. All the cars parked on the street here makes for, uh, make for some great looks too. What is this over here? It looks like we've got some sort of crazy car right here. What, what is this car? Oh, is he telling me to come down here? Maybe it's labeled. Ghostbusters. I almost wanted to guess that for a second. Oh my gosh, no way there's the Ghostbusters here. And they have the little is this supposed to be slime on the road? Is that from the Ghostbusters or is that not part of this? Yeah, is that is that like the slime? Oh my gosh. This is great. I wonder if they were like maybe investigating one of the houses here, if there was a ghost that <laughs> a ghost that got loose in the world, but that is just great detail right there as well. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and check out what's in here. Oh, oh, come on, come on, get all fly. There we go. Um Oh, okay, check this out, guys. This is, I guess, a little example of, uh, of what would be inside one of these little townhouses. Nice little design here and a little staircase to get upstairs, of course. And again, using the monster spawners as uh, as your railings. Very cool. I guess there's no sort of limitation as to how many monster spawners you can use in a world or in like a certain area because it looks like he's used a lot of them. So again, that could be a really good block choice for, uh, for any of you guys looking for something to add a little bit of detail to your fencing and whatnot. That is, uh, that's a great way to go about doing that. And again, using the hoppers here for the east troughs. And uh, that is such a cool little design. Oh my gosh, I do love these little houses. And, and what do we got going on over here now? Looks like we got a couple little row buildings going on down here for sure. And then, uh, and then these ones going on over here. Nice little houses. Again, for the sake of time, just kind of flying by them here. Oh, is this like a little garage storage locker area or something like that? These must be storage lockers. This is great though. Check this out, guys. A little truck here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. They're all uh they're all going through the storage, uh the storage locker here. Or is this a little house? This is like a little apartment that somebody's living out of. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's keep heading down here. Yeah, check it out, guys. Check out all these little different uh different garages here and whatnot. And then we've got some awesome little detailed row buildings here as well. I guess this is more part of the downtown. Oh man, dude, we're gonna we're gonna have to come back here when the uh, city's all finished here, maybe in a couple months, and check out the rest of the downtown when it's finished. But as of right now, I mean, this is looking spectacular. Uh, so what else do we got over here? Again, just more little row houses here, just great little designs. Oh, I'm I'm losing them here. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. And if I can just fly up here real quick, get an above view of all this. I mean, you guys can see what these uh, suburbs are gonna look like. So realistic though. Here, he's got all these different builds going in here, and he's even detailed the roofs. I mean, that is just spectacular. And, uh, and where did he go now? I'm, I'm kind of lost. If you want to TP me, you can go ahead and do that. Because, oh, actually, I have a map. I can follow you. Oh, he's right here. Hi. Okay, where are we going next? We're going down to this area. Awesome. Don't know whereabouts we are on the map. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're back over in this corner now. Uh, let's check out what we got here, though. We got, again, more little row buildings here going on. Uh, a really nice looking one here. Again, that bump out there with the quartz looking spectacular. And even now, there's this little gray concrete thing going up the side. That's really cool. That's some awesome looking ones down here. Oh, this is the Ghostbusters headquarters, isn't it? <laughs> that is awesome. This is another little Ghostbusters truck. Let's just make sure. Yep, it is. This is the headquarters, I guess, of where they're working out of. Wow, that is so cool. That is a great little amount of detail. And the monorail system here in the middle, that is so great. Oh, my gosh. And again, we've got some awesome little road buildings going on down here. To see a lot of different neighborhoods here and the way this is all planned out is just great. And we're going to have to go down that street because I'm very excited about that. But check out the little monorail train here. That is also a really spectacular little build. And this is all on a curved road. 
Like that is crazy. Got a whole bunch of nice little row buildings going on along this street. Again, getting right down to the uh, to the street level here to just check out the amount of detail that was used in this build. I mean, this is just crazy. This is a mega project if I've ever seen one. Oh, and he's setting the time to night. Yeah, look at all the lights go on because they're all triggered by daylight. Oh, that might be something that I gotta steal as well. I might have to use this in my city having little lights that go on at night. That is a great idea. Oh my gosh, and these ones look really awesome with the hoppers too. That is so cool. Yeah, I mean, check out this little street here, guys. That is, that is a great looking road. And again, guys, we have some more road buildings going on along here. A BRR, just a whole bunch of great little looking buildings here. Um, yeah, oh, a little restaurant design in here. That is great. Look at this, guys. It's got these awesome little designs. Again, I got to kind of uh, keep things going here because my computer is actually going to run out of hard drive space pretty soon, too, if we don't uh, keep going. So, unfortunately, yeah, we are kind of running out of time. But check it out, guys. We've got all these great looking little row buildings here. And, and I just wish we could spend more time on each individual one. But, uh, but yeah, here we go. Where did, oh, where did you just go? Uh oh, I'm lost now. We're going to get a little uh, TP action going on here. That might, oh, wait, no, is he right? He's right below me. He's right here. Ah, I got lost. Okay, here we go. What do we got coming on here on the sign? <laughs> prison or farm first? Why don't we go check out the prison and then we'll check out the farm. I think that would be the good thing. So if you want to just lead me over to the prison, let's do it. Guys, it looks like we've arrived at the little prison area over here. And check this out. We've got like the little sandstone detail up here, which looks really cool. And uh, let's just head down the road into the actual prison itself. Oh my gosh, this looks so crazy. Uh, again, I wish I could spend more time. My computer's yelling at me that my disk is almost full. So we, we got to kind of run through this very quickly. But this is looking really epic. Um, check out the whole design of this. Again, just going to do a little bit of a fly through. And I guess this is still a work in progress as well. But check it out, guys. All these nice little columns here that they can use to monitor the prisons and whatnot, or the prisoners. Um, this is a great little design here, though, for a, uh, for a prison for sure. So that's very awesome. Yeah, I love the little entryway into it as well, guys, with just the little check-in areas here and everything, little security checkpoint. Just the detail on this is great. Um, so I guess we can head over to the farms now. I don't actually know where he went, so I'll try to follow him on the map here. But that, that is looking very cool for sure. And I don't know what map we're about to go onto either. Here we go. I think we're popping right on over here. Um, but wow, I mean, this 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 world is spectacular, guys, with all the detail and whatnot. It's really impressive, and uh, and I definitely want to come back on when there's more of the world finish as well. I mean, this is I mean, there's plenty of the world finish as well here. Don't get me wrong; it's very impressive what he's got done so far, especially in the amount of time, guys. Think about it. It's been uh, I think you mentioned like three months or whatnot uh, from October. No, I guess is that three months? That's basically three months. Yeah, I mean that is crazy to have this much work done in three months. All right, guys, and here we go. We are now at the little farm area here, and uh, we've got a nice little tractor down here. Oh my gosh, I love the detail on this nice little farmhouse here as well. The apple tree up there. I love the custom trees in this world, and I said that last episode too, but they are looking awesome. Got this nice little farmhouse though, and the fence design as well is really cool, and it looks like they have a whole, or he has a whole layout here for how the farm is going to go. So that is, uh, that's really cool, guys, and... Uh, I don't know. Is that is that the end of the world? I mean, this is a really awesome world here. We've seen a whole bunch of different sections. Yes, that looks to be the end of it. All right. Well, uh, guys, it's been super fun popping on here with uh, with GTA 5. Again, that's quite the gamer tag, but uh, <laughs> he just asked me to call him that. Anyway, um, yeah, guys, this is uh, this has been so crazy. The amount of detail in this world and everything, I absolutely love it. And I do appreciate all your guys' support uh, watching these videos. I appreciate if you made it to the end. Again, link to his channel down below go ahead and check it out because you guys can actually follow him uh, building all this stuff and whatnot which is uh, definitely a fun thing to do for sure so go and check that out uh yeah uh, if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to go below leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video